Mike the Ref Maloney, Big Bad Boris on the call here tonight. It's oh, super kick. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Third. Let's go. Super kick party. Yeah, pay the money for that. No one. And of course, you're going to get the coffin skin. Hey, yo, 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 and away we go. Happy Saturday to one and all here. Let's get up to the main camera here once again. Welcome to the AEW Collision Sidecast here on the Mike the Ref Twitch channel. I'm Mike the Ref, your host, of course, namesake. I've got to work out that way. Going to be a fun day today. They are in Springfield, which I've heard Springfield's got a lot of news lately. Just for the record, yes, I do realize it's the other Springfield, not the one that they've been talking about in the news lately. So, but yeah, we're going to have a great time tonight. We got, uh, well, as of right now, it looks like we have four matches officially announced. Uh, we do have a all-star 10-man tag. Uh, the biggest thing I've taken away out of this one is the fact that we actually have... The Beast Mortals maybe being the first wrestler ever in AEW to work Dynamite, Collision, and Rampage all the same week. Talk about somebody getting a push. Not, e not only that, we also had the Bunkhouse Brawl between uh, the tag team uh, champions for ROH, Sammy Guevara, Dustin Rhodes, uh, Wow. Just going to go quickly through this here. I just... So many things going stupid here today. That's what I thought it was. It, yeah, it's the Undisputed Kingdom. Of course it is. And then for that 10-man tag, we got Hook, FTR, and the Outriders take it on the Beast Mortals, Grizzly Young Vets, Roosh, and uh, Roderick Strong. So, the Undisputed Kingdom is going to be all over the card tonight. We're also getting Darby Allin versus Eva Luno. Uh, five days before, or four days before Allin faces uh, John Moxley at Grand Slam. And then Mariah May take it on uh, Lady Frost in a prep match for a title match Wednesday against Yuka Sakazaki. Like, honestly, th this has the makings of a good show. I wonder how much time they're going to give for each match here. Because I'm, I'm sure there's going to be a couple other. There's going to be a couple other matches added to the card here, but just such a busy night tonight in sports. Like, that's the cool thing about this time of year. Everything starts to pack up a little bit more. Where we get... Uh, NCAA's in full gear, CFL's in the good time of year. I'm currently using my picture in picture here for uh, coll for uh, Collision to watch the uh, Elks of the Bombers play tonight. Just having some good time watching some football here as well. Hockey's about to start up next week with some preseason games. Actually, yeah, it's going to be tomorrow, actually. No, tonight, actually, is the first preseason games here. As I got everything running down my scoreboard here on the bottom here. Uh, uh, looking at media, Winnipeg, St. Louis, and Dallas, Buffalo, Pittsburgh. I I'm not going to be as much focused on the NHL this year as I was in previous years, but I love being, uh, I love checking out wrestling, and I love checking out wrestling with all of you. So, just double checking a few things here before we get going. Should be up fairly quick here for stuff, so. But yeah, once again, everybody, thank you for stopping by here. I truly do appreciate it. Uh, 
I'd almost be, I almost think they might do the Bunkhouse Brawl first tonight. Because it would make a lot of sense to do that. Um, either that or maybe we go with, go with the 10 man tag. I'd almost expect the 10 man tag to be the, the close up to the show, the finish off of the show. And here we go. Yeah, they start with the Buckhouse Brawl right off the bat. Makes sense. The Sons of Texas? At least they got a name. So what's your... The Springfield Eagles. How dare, how dare they suck up to a local hockey team? Like, why would you be allowed to do that? Seriously. Makes you wonder what they're going to be doing with the, uh... Oh, it's a Thunderbird, sorry. Oh, God, Nigel's had it already. Not even, not even a fool around here. Hey, Snow Penguin, how you doing tonight? This is hilarious. Just do it okay. How am I doing? I'm doing okay. I can't complain too much. I had a busy day at work, and now we're enjoying some wrestling. Uh, first on TV, and then later on tonight, we'll be doing it up on the old 2K. Or WWE, yeah, 2K24, yeah. Makes sense. I'll get this down sometime, yeah. Not, Nigel's really starting to try to be a heel, but I, I don't think... Uh, oh, God. Well, yeah, how's your day? How's anything special going on? Yeah, I got... So, if you have TSM Plus, if you use it online, it actually gives you the option for picture-in-picture. Picture. So, I have the main feed on AEW tonight, but my side feed's on uh, the Elks game, and I'm, I'm glad to see it's so energetic, this game. But Sammy... The reclamation project of Sammy Guevara is still in full effect, and I'm happy to see it. But yeah. Make sure what the... Re oh. Uh-oh, bleeding already. Just watching TCG competition. Oh, okay. Which competition is that? Is that the World Championships or qualified for that? So we're doing that twice. Atta boy. Okay. Oh, God. Get those sticks for everybody. So just as a heads up, we do have a... Not blood, it's a qualifier. Okay, Larkana. 
Oh, there's blood everywhere. Come on now. Are you kidding me? Really? Jesus! And David landed in a chair. That's always great. Jesus. What a shot. He's got a freaking taser in his head. Why in the world would you bring a taser to a wrestling match? Oh, and Bennett's got the taser now. Barbed wire table! Jesus! This is nuts! This is a partially nuts. This is completely nuts. Jesus. So yeah, we're getting this for a big, big opening match and then. Oh God. Let's just throw a random bulldog through a table here, random bulldog through a table there. Just let's do it everywhere. Jeez. And Taven's busted open. Well, that said that he wa he probably wanted that, so. Guevara's such too much of a new dad, so he doesn't want to do much of that. Now they're still going to try to get the... They're trying to stock with all the Dusty Rhodes phrases they can. I would say definitely more proud of his son than the Undisputed Kingdom. Okay, so that table's busted, so he's got to use the stairs. Nigel gives his final promo on Barry Daniels, so that should be fun. So there isn't much going on tonight, it looks like. That 10-man tag is probably going to take forever. Like, this one's only going 10 minutes so far. Everybody's bleeding everywhere. Ugh! Oh, so you, have you got a chance to w watch the uh, new Agatha series yet? I haven't, but I would recommend if you got a chance. Later on tonight, I'm not sure exactly what time they're starting. Uh, our local establishment is doing a, basically a uh, breakdown of Agatha, the Agatha series. I keep forgetting the name. My brain's all over the place. 
But yeah, I, I got a free week coming up here starting Tuesday night. So uh, we're gonna have some we're gonna have some guaranteed streams here. But uh, for the most part, I'm on holidays, so you guys won't notice much of a difference. To be honest, I'll be around a lot. Whoop whoop. Yep. Well, Guevara just ate two tables. Jesus. Now Dustin's all by himself. Let's go bunkhouse today, Jay Quick. Good to see ya. Hope work went well today. Went good, good. I'm glad. Testicular claw! Testicular claw! Oh God. Nice spine buster by Bennett. Why would you send bolt dust it out of the ring? You gotta be all by your Somebody's got a witness in the rig, right? I really do hope that the Undisputed Kingdom win this. Just said, I hate double champs. I say that saying that we might end up having one in our uh, 2K24 run, but... Dustin going for a call. Crossroads on the chair, that would suck. If they win, I want to hear it, Arthur Ashe. It's all about the boom. I don't know. I, I really don't know whether... Whether he's going to be ready or not. There could be a whole lot of things going on here, and I don't trust any dirt sheet right now. David just ate a chair on his back. Let's just let's not even fool around. Just say straight up, that's wow. That landing was not good, not at all. Oh God, DVD in the chair did not go away. Yep. That might be a shattered knee. Sammy running out of nowhere there. From out of nowhere. Dustin, what did that chair do to you exactly? Yeah, ouchies is a polite way of putting it. They're going to hell? Ah, <laughs> boy, Nigel. Oh. No way. Oh, God. Uh, Maria. Maria, you might want to watch out. You might not be able to have kids for the next while.
Have you met his wife? He might want to do something with her someday. No way. Ow! Ow! Curtain call? Sorry, Maria. Just, ew. So what's he gonna do on this? Said Todd. What a match. You seriously have to give it to the Undisputed Kingdom for such great matches they're always putting on here. Like all four of these guys, they're absolutely great. But this match here, like, it had a little bit of everything. And for some that didn't get a lot of hype, Turned out to be a hell of a match. But you gotta love how they call themselves the Sons of Texas, right? A Rhodes wasn't gonna lose a buck host, but hey, a Darby was not gonna lose a coffin match. Don't for don't forget that happened as well. So yeah, don't don't be so sure. Tony Khan knows when to pull the trigger on stuff. I, I do trust Tony with a lot of things here. Oh, we're going to get another six man tonight. Wait, 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 wait. We're getting a... We're getting a free Briscoe promo after a Bunkhouse brawl? Shenanigator. Ah, oh, Rocky Romero. Azucanator. Oh, God. Yep, another, another premier athlete tell. It doesn't really surprise me as we're heading to commercial break here. Premier athletes are there for L after L after L after L. Hey, at least they put on good matches. I, I think that's the one thing we can uh, at least confide ourselves into actually having side decent there at that point. Well, yeah, good bunkhouse brawl to start the night. We're 20 minutes in and everybody's really fired up. We got all our hardcore spots out of the way already and now we just get back to some good old wrestling. Oh God, that promo, like... That was levels. That, that was decent levels. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, a lot of people are like, oh, that's going to win an Emmy. You're saying, no, 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 no. No, no, no. But it was great. I, I do, for what it, what it was meant to be, it actually turned out to be really good. And the eventual heel turned by, uh, by Kevin Owens here, which I think might actually go down during uh, Hell in the Cell. Because for some reason, I think Cody... 
I, I think Owens is in a position right now where Cody might forgive his for his bitter enemy for what they're about to do to save his career. I, I think Kevin Owens had, wants that nothing to do with it whatsoever. It, it makes so much sense not to want to do anything with it. And then we get Ray, Raids and Cody at the Rumble? Probably. I would say that makes the most sense. We could almost maybe get... And if they want to push Cody and Raids to Mania 41, which if Rock's not available, that's probably where they're going to go. You could almost do heel Owens against Cody at the Rumble. I know it's a replay of Bash of Berlin, but the uh, circumstances are a lot different. And you're still going to get Cody to go over because they're, well, like I said, I don't like to believe much of the dirt sheets, but there's a high potential to believe that uh, Kevin Owens slash Steed might not be around too much longer. Like, we only got three months left of the year, and WWE has approached him with a contract, but I don't think money's going to matter when it comes to Owens here, because let's face it, he could go either way. Well, well. DMD back in two weeks. Glad to see you coming back. It's in Pittsburgh. Of course they have to be. Always picks up the white phone to get a call from Rancho Cucamonga. Oh, so we're getting deep at Aminata tonight. All right, we're going to go with that. I think Collision, like, Alvarez came up with a little thing on the, ra on the radio saying, Tony Khan books Collision week to week. I can almost make sense. All right. The Nigel shirt I love, hey. I like this. I like this a lot. I like, I like how Darby's just trying to push everybody, and Evil Udo's trying to live up the, uh, live up the Mick Foley gimmick a bit in what he does. Well, of course, that's with the gear and everything. But as for the TV streaming deal. That probably will be announced earlier in the day. It won't be announced during the show. It'll be announced before the show. Because if I do remember correctly, WBD actually has like a, one of those channel preview shows going on earlier in the day. And if he's doing that, that's where you do it. 
and then everybody just gets to talk about it all during the show, right? Do you win tonight? I doubt you win a Grand Slam. Honestly, I think Darby might win this at Grand Slam. Darby winning a Grand Slam over Mox would definitely do a lot for the story. So they're actually going to use Romero as a block. Probably another kick to the nuts is coming, by the way, if you're looking at it. It's hologram. Is it's hologram? The Skinner Ishi. I'll give you that. Oh God, Sterling. Here, Premier, here, take this L. You need it right now. Here, just, just take it. No, 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 I got plenty of them. You can have one. It's all good. They're used to it. Well... Sterling does a good job. Like as, as a manager, as a guy that in his position, the managers that they use, they're very sparing to for the most essential part of it. And I'm not talking about people who work in the corridor. I'm talking about dedicated managers. Guys like Stokely and and Sterling. Even even Luther, I would consider at that point. Because I don't know how much Luther is actually wrestling anymore. An absolute great job of what they do. Of course, Shivani's going to be all over the Baker announcement, right? And of course, you got the King of Badgers, not of course. I just wanted to save that one for you, my friend. Nana's been one of the weird ones, but it's been great. Oh, Title Tuesday. They're just bringing up Title Tuesday. It's going to be a fun time because we got, uh, yeah, that's going to be an interesting way to put things. With uh, Title Tuesday going up against NXT. I'm tempted to do like a side by side cast again. Just so we can watch both at the same time, see what their counter programming and all that. Grand Slam's going to be a lot of fun next week, both Collision and Dynamite. The only thing I don't like about it is the fact that Collision's taped. They're not going to book it for two nights, of course, but. Oh, I forgot to say happy last day of summer. Do you, do you remember the 21st day of September? The day when summer ends. I know you guys are here for my singing. And I, I'm scared that all you guys are too, too young to remember what the hell I'm talking about here. Thank you for the emote, Snow Penguin.
You could tell you could tell Hologram started to get a lot more comfortable on this roster and in these matches, because there was a little level of jerkiness as he went around. The 21st of September, also the day in another loss to the previous Sterlings. <laughs> I will throw that out for you. I really wonder who's going... See... I don't know why Rocky Rivera just didn't go up and clock Sterling. I love how they have to repeatedly bring up that they're in Springfield, Massachusetts. Because you know if you do uh, Springfield, Ohio, there'd be a whole lot of different jokes going on. Why is it that every time I hear Nigel talk, I just want Gorilla Monsoon to turn around and say, would you stop? But you can tell they're in commercial break right now because they're doing a lot of quick beatdowns, a lot of rest holds. Nothing too spectacular. I wonder if they're actually going to have that match, to be perfectly honest with you. I'm assuming they will. Like, they wouldn't advertise it if they weren't going to have it, right? Oh, God. Nigel's got the Clam Digger shirt almost guaranteed right now. And O'Reilly just doesn't even fool around. Let's not worry about a tag. Let's just get the guillotine on. Nice reversal. Like you always wonder if somebody's turning around to say they deserve better. Like, they're always, like, the premier athletes are doing great for the role that they're in. I just wish they would get a little more wins once in a while. I think Danielson will do everything to make sure he's there to fight his... You know what happened with Danielson? It's, it, it's very simple what Danielson did. He went to Tony Codd and said, look, my final run, these are the guys I want to face. And I almost still guarantee you the end of that list will say Darby in Seattle. Or Darby in Washington, whatever. Hologram of the hot tag. What scale what scale are we gonna put this on here? Oh, look out. Claudio's on the list? Probably. You're going to get Claudio? I almost guarantee you're going to get Mox for one. That was interesting. Do we get dead? So I, I doubt it. I 
Essentially, we're just getting about, what, five weeks? There's Mark Briscoe with that Tabasco tag. This is like a Sriracha tag if you look at it. Okay. Nice little T-bone suplex. Wish Briss got a bike to a commentary while I was wrestling. No, you don't. No, you don't. Some of the stuff they actually say in there compared to what you think they say is a whole different ball wax. Kick him in the balls! Kick him in the balls! We all said kick him in the balls! All right. Hologram took himself out. Oh my goodness, he actually hit the Jade Trailer. Interesting. It's Kung Fu Briscoe, no relation to Kung Fu Naki. <laughs> Apparently, Funaki is now a part of uh, NXT as uh, Julius Translator. I love how they're all trying to have some different kind of dance for a different instrument. They be rock band all over the place. Josh Switch took that drink. Yeah. Jo Josh is, you know, very accomplished pure wrestler. I love the way he works in that ring. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Okay. Can, can I be honest? I don't know what to think of that. It's going to get me to watch, but still, it's like, And speaking of which, Mariah May is here. What do you think of Mariah's uh, new music? To me, it gives a, a big uh, Maleficent vibe, which actually works out rather perfect. Because she is a Jezebel, right? Nigel Heal. Wrong, wrong heel, but that's okay. Oh, feet, feet decided to go away for a few seconds there. All right. 
right, Nigel, calm down. Heal, heal, heal. Rock, heal. This will be interesting. This will be an interesting match. I think. I think Lady Frost might be giving a little bit more competition than a few of these wrestlers that have been around for a while. Just more things that Mariah could do with her. Yes, I know this sounds horrible as I'm saying it. <sighs> uh, I, I, Nigel's mind right now is just... That's Nigel right now, just... Tony's doing his best not to burst out laughing here. A Mariah go round. I'm sure Nigel's used those words a few times. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen with Sakazaki. Ah, Mariah, just let her do whatever she's going to do and then just crack her one. Ow. Trish Stratus, eat your heart out with that Tiaras. Oh God. We we got some memes coming. We definitely have some memes coming. That round round out uh, drop kick there, pretty nice by Frost. Whoa! I appreciate this. You know, the the how the fact they actually give Frost uh, some offense here compared to the rest. Oh. Ow. A double titty slap just looks rough there. Oh god. Conglomeration for oh god. What the hell was that? Sorry, I see Chris Jericho on my screen. That's all we're getting. There's a Storm Zero. You couldn't have waited an extra minute to announce that, right? So just to re-answer your question, I know that it's uh might sound a little bit awkward. I I think we get the Adam Cole debut on uh, fifth anniversary. 
just because he's a Pittsburgh guy as well. He's naturally a Pittsburgh guy. I, I do like how they are, they're trying to build up somebody. All right, I, I just want to see how this match going to go. Oh, Will's back. She has been around since the pay-per-view. Thank you for the lurk there, Snow Penguin. Hope you're having a great afternoon or great evening. As you're watching the Elks get pasted here. Ah. Okay. Oh, so they're doing uh, rampage on this taping. Okay. They they changed the taping schedule up here, because if it's from Springfield, Mass. Oh, well, they probably already pre-taped it. I would think. Is it? No, this one's live tonight. Yeah, they're probably taping it one way or the other here. So, I'm assuming rampage they would film at this week instead of next week. Oh, that makes sense. Now I just think about it. Sorry. Talking it through, I actually figured it out myself. Because Grand Slam's in uh, in uh, New York at that big stadium, they don't want to have Rampage on that. So they're going to do a taping this past Wednesday. They're doing a taping tonight for two consecutive Rampages, which makes a lot of sense. So yeah, that, that they're taping that. That makes sense. Darby and Eva Ludo next. That's going to be fun. We're not even an hour in yet here. That's, it's weird. Normally it feels like it's flying by, but today it's, I don't want to say dragging because the action's been good, but it just hasn't been that certain pull me in mentality to this one. Oh, sorry. The Elks just got a touchdown. So life is getting good here real quick. I got the uh, picture picture going on here. So a little flea flicker. Uh, let's just make it up as we go kind of deal. Ah, oh, beautiful play. But yeah, just, I wonder what this match is going to look like. I think Udo's going to give Darby a lot. And in the same respect, Darby's going to going to save a lot for him. I think this could be a bit of a coming out match for uh, Evil Uno in many ways here. 
I know the collision seems like a bit of a B show, but they could actually show up some A talent here. So. But yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what comes up here the next week here of, with everything going on. I, I do find it funny that uh, the Lucha Brothers are still not signed and they're still under contract AEW yet, which people don't, people think they're jumping the gun, oh, they've signed already, blah, blah, blah. No, they haven't. Okay. A rather basic promo, but I'm not hating it. <laughs> Tony's not getting a clue what this run sheet is. There we go. That's what the, that's what he was thinking was coming up. I'm glad Tony's saying what all of us are. It's been a weird couple weeks here. So I do love the, uh, Okay. I would show up and then I'd leave if I I was we Wheeler. Either show up and eat a pit or show up and take off. This will be a lot of fun. Uh-huh. He wasn't tricked. Here's my theory about the whole thing. Moxley says he was indisposed. I do think that Moxley told uh, Tony Khan that this was supposed to happen. And the, the idea of having Nigel and Daniel, Daniel said before they, uh, before Danielson leaves, might be a better aspect right now. Oh, this is going to be fun. If 
That was wow. That was a Brody Lee slap right there. Good old fashioned right hand there by Uno. That was actually pretty cool. Wow. That hurt like a hell. Code red out of nowhere. I've always been scared of a derby torpedo like that. Nice, nice. Shivani just roasting Danielson there. Foul, foul. I'm loving to see this here. Cannonball into the steps. Jesus. That is nuts. Nice little pounce right into the guardrail there. Boot to the face. So I'm going to add a deep. That will be a lot of fun, even though it might only be about 10 minutes. That was pretty cool right there. The fact that he's doing up the tie. That's Moxley's hold. That's Darby's choke. Now he's biting him. Oh no way. That would have been lo that would have been great to see it upset. You don't want to talk about animals in Springfield. Maybe somebody should let Nigel know. Oh God, Reynolds is down. I'd like to see Darby try that with Marita Shafir. Well, they got the sensors out. That was a, I, I love the guy in the crowd. That was a mistake, Udo. Got that AEW chant going now. All right, that's going to finish this off. Not 
a bad showing. You knew Evil Little wasn't going to win, but... Nice to see Darby uh, working the way that he is here. But I don't know what I'm going to think of when it comes to world champion if I'm looking at Darby. It just, I don't know if it feels right. It'll feel different. I'll give him that. All right, here we go. We're getting the start of uh, Hangman and, and Jared again. Somebody in the background, burn Tony's house down! Uh, Okay. Wow, okay. Wow. Get getting whipped to say the least. <laughs> uh, that just got a post about uh sports center getting moved to the cw by just a parody commercial absolutely hilarious no th this feud here sh this should be a good starting to the feud i think there's gonna be a little bit more to it but Queen Abadada, this might be a statement match for her. 
Like, I know she took on Mariah May and it was close, but this almost feels bigger than that situation. Like, this almost feels like that if she wins this, this will this will justify a lot more than what we're used to here. All right, here we go. Once again, everybody, thank you for stopping by here. We're an hour into the show, and... All right, that was awkward as hell. Very aggressive, very angry. All right, let's go here. We're going to get Chain Wrestling to start here tonight. Oh, God, Nigel. <laughs> That's for Tony right there. I love that. This crowd is just not having this here. Nice reversal, reversal, reversal. Into a reverse surfboard. I almost wonder if having long legs is not exactly a disadvantage there, the fact that there's a lot more to work with. So just a heads up, I will be here for uh, Wrestle Dream. Might just be a little closer to start time because I do have to actually work. For the rest of the year, I actually have to work uh, the days of pay-per-views, pay so. Nice neck breaker there. I'm actually really happy to see AEW move into these places that are a lot lot smaller for the most part that they're not working on a lot of things that are like if they're like the oversized the oversized bu buildings here just being empty just doesn't give me the same feel hell even NXT's moved out of the Kiel Center down to a basically a minor league facility close to it similar to what uh, Impact worked What the hell? Nigel giving up these Ted Trick rules? So we still got Nigel's address tonight. And uh, at the main event, I don't think we have anything else booked. So they're actually going to give us some fair time tonight.
So Nigel's closing tonight. Interesting. That might also be Danielson shows up tonight. Oh, they're doing this. I hate this. Like, in the, in the old, like, like, for example, if there was a Heritage Cup, I could live with that. But this is just dumb. Oh, my ass cheek hurts. Uh-oh, that's not good. Nice stretch out here. Oh. Well, Shivani is old, so he does have a tendency to forget stuff, but. Damn. It's a nice breakout on that. No, this is turning out to be an actual really great match in terms of the uh, in terms of the physicality, the way things are set up, the story that's being told here, with the fact that uh, Deep trying to use Amanada's aggressiveness against her, but just at some points it just ain't working. That was a snap, to say the least. That's a DMD net breaker. Fisherman neck breaker. I call it a DMD neck breaker because that's her setup. Whoa, that was a shot. This crowd tried to be into it, and I give him full credit for that. Oh, that's a shot. Nope. I'm an I cannot believe it. I almost feel Deep has to win this one to continue the feud. But it's almost like a must win for Aminata in a way, too. Oh, God. You do not finish with somebody else's finishing move. That's Jamie Hayter's finisher, the trap Coles line. Go for this rave. Oh. Oh, God. The posy nightmare there. Ow. Oh, what a chop block.
Now they're starting to drop the bombs. Oh, and Amanada's knee's hurting, so. So Amanada's hit her finisher and didn't get the win, so it looks like Serena's gonna get. Here comes the dragon screw. Yeah, there it is. Oh God. Like I said, this would be a statement for Aminata, but it almost felt like Serena should win this just to continue the story. Well, she got the match, but she lost it. So yeah, we're gonna get a little bit of craziness here. Oh, Sharita and Saray, okay. Soraya's rules? I... Oh God, oh God. <laughs> For fuck's sake, Harley. <laughs> I'll say it's entertaining, but so yeah, basically it's a no DQ for one side and it's a complete straight match for the other. Sort of makes sense. It, it makes sense for what it is. It, it does define how much of a joke Soraya really is at this point. Because I don't really see much of anything else happening here at this point now with uh, Soraya just... Soraya's going to eat an L here somehow. Guaranteed that's what's going to happen. Because I don't see, uh, I, I don't see Soraya winning this match unless there's some shock return. But they don't do shock returns at Grand Slam Collision. Or a shocky debut, one or the other. And the big one you're getting is DMD next week, or in two weeks time. 
at the five year anniversary, which makes a lot of sense, right? As we're getting into our, I don't know if we're getting our main event now or not. We'll, we'll do the preview of next week. Uh, after like before the final segment here instead because I, I really don't know what's going in terms of booking how they're booking this right now I still feel there should be another matchup because it really doesn't make sense to be 20 after 7 well 20 after 9 Eastern and still have we still got 40 minutes and we only have one match and one promo I don't see that 10 man tag taking that much that much time here so As they're just about to come back into, unless they're going to play all the introductions and kill 10 minutes that way, which I could see happening, but yeah, just, uh, yeah, like I said, this one's, this tonight's been a weird one. I'm not going to say it was bad wrestling because it's never really bad wrestling. It's just, there's nothing here to grab me to want me to watch tonight. Whoa. Okada versus Guevara? This is a match I didn't expect, but... I'll Could Guevara be the first guy to give to give Okada a loss at AEW? I don't think so, but it's still a hell of an idea to think of. I, I really don't like when Tony Khan brings this up as an all-star match. Oh, I love this. I love this. The fans love him. I love him. They're like the ultimate 80s guys working with the ultimate 80s guys tonight. Oh, I thought they were getting beat up in the backstage. I love the glasses. I love the glasses. They want they want to work together. Except nobody can see him. Okay.
FTR and the Outrunners, that, that, that's a faction in itself. Could you imagine the old school Survivor Series team like this? That'd be a lot of fun. I love seeing these two. The fact that they got out on the indies and... New music for Rouge? Somebody in the crowd screaming incessantly. So we're getting nine, set, nine entrance music here, aren't we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, sorry. No, six. I love the fact Mortos is getting work, as much work as he is. Can you imagine T, both TNA and NWA had had Taurus under their purview and they still couldn't use him like, like the way AEW is like he's one of those guys just put him in the ring get him some guys that'll move and put him in the ring Oh, Martinez, I, if I was Martinez, I'd be throwing it out the first second I guess gets out of control. No reason not, not to, because, you know, this is just going to be chaos. But this could, this could actually take a fair bit of time here, if you think about it. Oh, nice. There you go. We're just having Cash and Drake working together here. Just. Ugh. It's just going to be annoying just listening to him. Yep. Yep. And Dax is just sitting back because, you know, his guy's out of the ring right now. Ah, uh, good old Roddy. Hook almost had him in the red rub. That would have been fun. Just to end it right there. And then you got half an hour of Nigel talking. Oh, this is... <laughs> I love how Tony's bringing up music in the 80s right now. I wouldn't say the greatest wrestlers, though. Oh, God. Dax is just unloaded here. Uh, 
Oh God. Nigel, Nigel, Nigel. Even Tony just stopped right there. He's like, nope, nope, not gonna get into this. <laughs> Good old Nigel. Martos and oh god. I'm surprised Mortos hasn't got another title shot yet. Oh god. Yeah, it's pro probably Danielson. I, I still say if that's non-titled, Nigel can go over. He'll get over with a technical pin, not an actual pin. Especially if that opens the show. If you put Danielson and Nigel to open the show, there is a possibility that Nigel wins just because... You're not going to have a whole bunch of pop and fanfare to uh, indicate that uh, that he's won, right? So. I'd almost be tempted. I, I don't know if it's going to be an issue to follow, stay with the whole match. Man, Mortos has unloaded bombs here. Nice shot. Going over. Oh. <laughs> Nigel. Nigel tried to cover his own BS up. I love it. I love it. Camera f effed up so bad there. <sighs> Roosh, Roosh just taking his time here. And Dax just said, nope, we're going to get to work here. Yeah, we're. I'm going to make a tag while I actually try to get... Uh, Get my shirt off finally. Very smart move there. Oh, hooks in the ring. All right. Now we're going to see things are going to pick up a little bit. Oh, that's right. They are doing a TNT title match. They got a lot of matches booked for next week. I'm actually surprised how many they have booked in on one night. Yeah, four hours of wrestling. I wonder how long that crowd's going to 
Stay up for that. Sorry, I was just shaking my head. I'm watching the uh, the other half of my picture. Picture just shaking my head at the Elks. Nice throw there. Oh, I think that's the first time I've seen. Seed Hook get that aggressive that clothesline. Just a straight out. Oh, that right hand was real. Hook's not used to throwing hands, but. Yeah, I hope so. I hope uh I hope we get a good career out of Hook just I don't know Just lay these shots in big time Always great with his backbreakers here. I see Tony's about as off as I am right now. Just a little all over the place when it comes to a lot of this stuff. So nice clothesline. I, I would say that I, I do love the fact that Nigel finds a smart way to break everything down properly. But it's nice they're getting time. That's one of the big things. They're getting time right now. I love how Gibson get out the ring. I'm just not used to Hook being the one taking the heat in a match like this. Usually it's a cash thing, but it almost makes sense that Hook is the youngest one. That reminds me, I got to book that weekend off for uh, Grand Slam. I really hope we get a good show out of that. We should. I hope a lot of the local talent get get to be used the way they need to be. You're actually bringing up Jim Barnett on a out an AEW show around Tony Schiavone of all people. Wow. It's like, we want Outrunners. You know those Outrunners, once they get the hot tag, this place is going to go freaking nuclear here.
That's how you get everybody on the card for once. That's why when you're at the uh, pay-per-views, all the pre-show matches are trios. Because you try to get as many people on the card as you can, right? There you go. There's a nuclear tag. Let's go. Turbo just taking care of business. Damn. First time I've gotten to experience this little thing out of the out outrunners. They got something here. They actually got to use it. That's all. A meeting of the minds? Well, that's old school if I ever seen it. Nice drop down. Oh no, oh no. It's the most powerful move in professional wrestling today. Wow. Shatter Machine by the Outrunners? All right, I assume FTR is going to do the Outrunners finisher. Uh-oh. This might not be good. Nice head grip on the cravat there, though. Might be through the ropes, but... Oh. Truth missed it on the first one. Didn't get the swig. Back, bay, 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 bay. This almost feels like a 2K24 tag match. Feels like it's running a lot longer than you'd expect. Nice drop kick to the back of the head. There's a tag. You know we're getting close to the end of the match because they're starting to bring up the graphics. But yeah, it feels weird that they're going this long for a match. Not that I really mind having this on a... Oh, God. You gave your final word in front of everybody.
I just had uh, just a post from uh, NJPW's color color guy uh, talk about how he wants MXM collection in the uh, World Tag League. That would be interesting. They're getting another commercial break. So I guess Nigel isn't going to get a whole lot of time here. Ow. Double wrist lock with a hammer lock. I love how they talk about you, you mess with the bull, you get the horrid jet. You got two two guys that are known about being bulls here. Hey, da Dax could probably stare daggers through you, so I'd be very careful about that, Nigel. Man, these guys are unloading. Truth just stuck in the wrong corner. Oh God, Nigel, calm down. All right, Str I forgot. They're in another commercial break here. I get to watch the full feed because it's live. Next week, I'll be uh, I'll be appreciating the commercials with everybody else, especially down in the states. But yeah, just it's been a good match. Don't get me wrong. It just there's not enough of a pop out moment here right now. Oh, they're actually not going to do any commercial breaks after. Okay. That hot tag's going to be nuclear. There you go. All right, here we go. So that hasn't broken down yet, so. Oh God. I would have just held the heads. Pretty smart move here. Now, now we got the breakdown ball, but now we're getting near the end. All right, well, those two are going to leave. Dax and Roosh, that'd be a match I'd like to see one-on-one. -on -one. Shut up, Nigel. You got, you're behind me here. Oh, 
Oh god. Nice clothesline. Beast coming for a block. Now they'll get the shatter machine in. Never mind. Oh God. Dax might eat this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wow! Roosh and Mortos! Give me two bowls together! Give me two. That. That was pretty awesome. They got the win. That's what matters, right? So. But yeah, we still got the moment with uh, with Nigel here. So yeah, Brad will be there. I'm almost thinking Adam Cole will be there as well. You notice ever since, you, you ever notice uh, with Sarita Deeb, ever since she, she had that interview at Edmonton, she's never done a live promo since. Hey, Crowder, things are going good. Uh, I, I'll have to admit, tonight's Dynamite. Brit Deeb next week? Okay, sorry to sorry to cut my thoughts off there, but Brit Deeb, that's gonna be a hell of a fun match. But uh yeah, tonight I have to admit, Dynamite, while it's been good, like the wrestling's always good. That's never a doubt. It's just there's nothing but anything tonight to really grab you. The bunkhouse brawl was fun between the Undisputed Kingdom and uh uh yeah, sorry, collision. My bad. Sorry. That, that tells you how grabbed I'm with this. <laughs> uh, we had Queen Amanada and Sarita Deeb. We had Mariah May and Lady Frost. We had Briscoe uh, O'Reilly and... Day, right now, Nigel's doing a live promo in front of everybody with a shirt that says Bride Fears, Di Bride Fears Nigel. The crowd's cheered behind it. I love it. Oh, do it for the fans.
Yeah, like our main event was a 10 man tag that's. What is Shivani doing? <laughs> oh! Okay. So Tony came in the intercept and Nigel doing everything he can to put this over. Okay. Okay. Nigel's tried his hardest to sell this match. I just don't know if it's working. Okay. It's me and you. Wow. I haven't seen Nigel this fired up in like 15 years.
He's literally crying, begging for this match. Okay. Okay. I think we're just going to close out on that. He's got to be cleared. These next two weeks of AEW Dynamite are going to be absolutely insane. Collision's going to be nuts on Saturday. Going to be a little goofy because we got we found out we're getting uh, Jamie Hayter versus Soraya in a Soraya's moves Soraya rules match. Let me just close this off because the feed is done on both ends. A Soraya rules match, which basically means that. Soraya gets to do whatever she wants and Jamie has to play within the rules. It's going to be goofy, but it's going to... They'll, they'll find a way to work it out. But once again, like I said, tonight... Like normally I'm really fired up over a good night of collision. But tonight... Wednesday I was talking about this card is helping me pull me into uh, Grand Slam next week. This weekend there was some good wrestling, but... There was nothing really to draw me to get to Grand Slam Collision. We're going to watch it together. Don't get me wrong. But it, it's just there was nothing grabbing me to hold me in here tonight. So great wrestling. Like I said, the conglomeration hologram beating the premier athletes. Seems to be a normal thing. Uh, Lady Frost putting on a good performance against uh, Mariah May coming up short. Seems to be a normal thing. Uh, bunk, that bunkhouse brawl is absolutely insane. Dusted and uh, Sammy getting the win at the end. It was good. Serena D beating Queen Amanada, which I almost feel that would have been more of a statement victory for Amanada over D, but it sort of makes sense if they even want to think about continuing the rivalry to put the win on uh, Deeb here. Because Amanada can fight back up. She's still got the she's still got the skills to get there. She's put on a hell of a match with Deeb, put on a hell of a match with Mariah. It, it's been it's been pretty solid all the way through. Then that Ted Man tag, like you could tell the outrunners are getting over. The fact that Roosh got the pin on Dax says a lot about what they're thinking about Roosh. Yeah, and I'm with you, PJC. It's sort of... That's sort of the same way I feel about the Premier Athletes. They're sort of in the same boat right now. Like, they are the enhancement talents in a way here. They got... Like, next week we're going to get... Uh, who else are we getting here? We're getting... Uh, Willow Nightingale versus Taya Valkyrie. We're getting next next uh friday on rampage okay they're filming rampage tonight by the way for friday because they're not going to do a rampage from arthur ash so makes sort of sense what they're doing there uh yeah other than that we're getting next week we're gonna get mxm versus the acclaimed because of the big jacket that uh mxm stole from uh from Max Caster, which I've considered steal everything from him, including his contract. <laughs> but yeah, getting back to that 10-man tag, like the Outrunners, you could tell why they're over. FTR got the mini pop. And uh yeah, Hook. Hook take most of the beating of the night. That's what he was there for. And then uh Grizzly Young Vets did a great job in there. 
you have Mortos that has li literally, I think he's the first wrestler that's worked Rampage, Collision, and Dynamite all in the same week and did a fantastic job on all of them, apparently. I say apparently because I haven't watched a Rampage match, but I heard nothing but good things about it. And then, of course, like I said, Roosh getting the pin. Maybe they do something with it. They actually mentioned that Don Callis might be happy with this because it's part of the Don Callis family, technically. But all in all, like I said, there's it, it's been a decent show, but nothing really to pull me in and give me a reason to watch what's going on here in the future here. So do you think the L Rudders are sustainable or are they a, a meme team that gets off for a period and forgot like Huckhausen? I don't think they're going to be levels of Hookhausen. I do think there is a cap on what they could get. But I do think they can... I think you could run with them for a little bit. I, I think if you... It depends how long until you want to put them in deep water. That's a, it's one phrase I've always used when it comes to booking wrestling. You could have any gimmick team get over no matter what. But it's when you start putting them into the deep water that you really get to know what you have. The Acclaim were sort of the same thing coming out, right? Originally, they were just the rap team that you know, pissed everybody off and had, this, had the stupid insults throughout the whole time. It was until they got to that level where they finally got a chance to face up against Swerve in Our Glory. And the fact that everybody understood, oh yeah, these guys can wrestle too. They're worth checking out here. So I, I do feel there is a chance for the Outrunners to be sustainable. Once again, it just comes down to how do you book them right? And Tony is good with a slow burn. As much as we hate Tony booking, Tony Khan's booking. And my God, tonight, I, I am not a fan of what he did tonight. Because nothing felt like... It felt like some things were joined, but it's like you got to really pick at it to get there. I, I think they were basically just trying to get through a show to get to Grand Slam here. But I, I don't like Tony Khan's booking type, but overall, he is a master class of booking long-term stories with wrestlers. So hopefully he could do something with the Outrunners and let them be... Let him get to at least a decent potential here. I don't know if you give him a tag title run. I'd almost like to see it. Is Collision or Rampage the show they're looking to consider dropping for the Rumor Fox show? Well, if if the Andrew Zarian report is correct, which I, I will preface this saying that within 48 hours here, according to the dirt sheets, uh, the Lucha Brothers have been signed and not signed by WWE. Just, just pointing that coin out there for you. But according to Andrew Zarian, the report says that Rampage is the show that's going to go. Collision is still sustainable. My English is going good there. Uh, it is sustainable. It's just... They're learning that they have to do the smaller venues on a Saturday because there's so much more to watch right now, not just not just what's going on here with uh, wrestling here, right? So sort of makes sense that way. But like I said, all in all, I think this was just a getaway show. Instead of a go-home show, it was a getaway show. Everybody's trying to uh, get through these matches, get in the car doors, or get... Start the car, get running, and head to New York for Grand Slam next week. Which I still think is going to be a lot of fun regardless for both shows.